let's go over ergonomics. These are the things that you need to know for proper ergonomics regarding your test. They're going to ask you questions like, which of the following is considered the best ergonomics? The one thing you want to remember about ergonomics is that when you scan, you should be scanning in a neutral position. The neutral position or posture is the body position in which your body is relaxed, your spine is completely aligned, your feet are on the floor, your hips are aligned higher than your knees, your lower back is supported, your head, neck, shoulders, elbows, and hips are aligned and relaxed, your elbows are bent at 100 degrees or more, you have your wrists straight, and your fingers are slightly curled and relaxed. These are all combined to reduce the work and stress on your musculoskeletal system and basically helps to do your job with ease with minimal effort. This position will pretty much maintain your natural curves of your spine and maintain your body in a good alignment. Don't bend your wrist. While you're scanning, you want to keep your arm at a less than 30 degree angle. Don't extend your arm greater than 30 degrees. You want to keep your arm as close to the side of your thorax as possible. You want to sit up straight. The patient's bed level should match the level of the sonographer's hip, and you'll do that by raising the bed to the level of the hip. The patient should be as close to the sonographer as possible. Raise your monitor to eye level. The part that you're scanning should be close to the sonographer. Stand, but if you must sit, sit straight up. Standing is actually better than sitting, believe it or not. Move machine closer to the sonographer, and don't reach for the keyboard, and the sonographer's body should face towards the machine. What's wrong with this sonographer's ergonomics? Okay, one, he needs to stand up straight or sit down while sitting up straight. He needs to scan in the neutral position. It almost looks like he's turning his head to the left and his body is facing to the right. It's almost facing the patient's head and the sonographer's head is turned to the left at almost a 90 degree angle. What he has to do is either adjust the bed at a different angle and then move the machine over so he can look straight on, or he needs to adjust the bed going this way and then adjust the machine like this so he can sit looking straight at the machine. He needs to face the monitor at eye level without turning head. He needs to raise the bed to the level of his hip. What about his arm? He needs to adduct his arm to 30 or less degrees. The one thing we're missing, he needs to bring this body part closer to him. He needs to flip the patient so that the feet are over here and the head's over here. Or he needs to bring the machine over here and scan left-handed. I'm, I'm betting he's scanning this way because he can't scan left-handed. Bring scanning part of body closer to sonographer. Oh, he needs to not lean over the patient. You should never lean right. over the patient. What's the first thing we can do to fix this picture? Sit up straight. He needs to turn his whole body towards the monitor. Turn whole body towards a machine. He's corked his body down in the lower back region. His head is facing the monitor, but he needs to uncork his lower back so that his body is completely facing the machine. He could probably bring the patient a little bit closer to him. And then he can also bring this machine over here so he doesn't have to look this way, he can look this way. And then that might correct his neck and move machine to the left, bring patient closer to sonographer. The monitor is close enough to eye level. He's only looking down a little bit. I'm not even sure this machine can raise up. He could probably lower his chair a little bit so that he's facing the monitor, lower scanning chair to bring monitor to eye level. What's the obvious thing we need to fix right away? We'll say number one, we need to lower the bed to the level of the hip. Is the monitor okay? Because I don't see her head kinked down or up. I think she's looking straight on it. I, she probably could move the machine over here a little bit, bring the monitor over, mm -hmm. but she's probably using a machine that doesn't have that capability. In the perfect world, you probably bring the monitor over here so she's looking this way towards the window. So move monitor to the right, I guess. What about the elbow? She should adjust the elbow angle to 100 degrees or more. Is the machine close enough? Yeah, the machine's close enough. If You should be able to reach any of the buttons by not having to reach forward. You should be able to easily just kind of reach out. And it looks like she's 
grabbing this knob with ease. She could rotate her body towards the monitor if she didn't want to move the monitor this way. Yeah. The last thing I think I see is she needs to adduct her shoulder to about 30 or less degrees. How do you fix this image? For starters, it looks like the bed might be a little too high, and it also looks like she's kind of leaning to the right. If the sonographer would just lower the bed down to the level of the sonographer's hip, this might ease the tension during the ultrasound. The only thing I can see that looks correct here in this image is the way she's scanning. The wrist is not bent, and it looks like the fingers are curled and relaxed. So lower the patient's bed to hip level. What about the monitor? I think it's too high. I think she's kind of looking up. So she needs to either raise the scanning chair or lower the monitor. And then if she does that, she has to adjust the patient's bed. We'll just say adjust monitor to eye level. Maybe move the machine over to the right a little bit. Or she needs to somehow get closer to him. Shoulder needs to be at 30 or less. Anytime you see an arm extended like that, you need to adjust it. Bring it closer to the thorax, and then that will reduce the chances of injury. How do we fix this position? Lower the monitor to eye level. Elbow needs to be at 100 degrees or more. Here's how you know that her shoulder angle is greater than 30. Look how she's leaning to the right. If you're leaning, then you're obviously going to have an extended arm. Shoulder to be at 30 or less. Do you see how she's extending out her arm to touch that button? She needs to bring that machine closer to her or move her and the patient closer to the machine. Let's bring machine closer to the sonographer. She needs to be closer to the patient, so bring the patient closer to the sonographer. Good. So she needs to scan in the neutral position. And then I feel like the last thing is she needs to sit straight up. Straight up in a chair. If she decides to keep standing, then she needs to raise the patient up and bring that monitor to eye level. But I don't think there's anything else. And you'll see what it should look like here. So that's a lot better. So she's sitting straight up and she doesn't have to reach across the room to touch one of the knobs here. She's got the monitor at eye level. She's not leaning over the patient. Her shoulders at 30 or less. The elbow, it looks a lot better than this. And then she looks like she's scanning a lot better in the neutral position. Tell me which one looks like the correct way to hold the transducer. A represents the correct way to hold the transducer because it looks like the fingers are holding the pen in a way that it's not too tight, but firmly enough to maintain stability and control of the transducer and the fingers are holding the pen closer to the base and the patient rather than further away. What about this image? Which is the correct way to hold the transducer? The answer would be C for the same reasons as before. Tell me what in the world you can do to fix this image. In this image here, it looks like the sonographer is performing a venous insufficiency, which sometimes requires the sonographer to scan while they're on their knees. However, to correct this image, this sonographer should place his patient in the gurney or bed in the reverse Trendelenburg. This will help provide results she needs for this venous insufficiency. But just pointing out the things that are wrong in this image, you should never scan on your knees. She needs to lower this machine down closer to the ground. It doesn't look like this machine has that capabilities. Nevertheless, the control panel should be lowered and the monitor should be at eye level so she's not looking up at the monitor. The best thing to do to correct this image is simply scan in the neutral position. Then finally, she needs to move the machine closer to her so that she doesn't have to reach quite so far. What about this one? She needs to stand up straight, move monitor to eye level. She could probably move machine closer to the sonographer. These little details will matter on your test. She needs to raise the bed to hip level. And it looks like she's reaching over the patient. And the way you correct that is simply bring the monitor to this side and scan on this side. So you'd be scanning with your left hand or flip the patient around so that the feet are over here and the head's over here. And then bring the machine on this side and she'd be over here. What about the shoulder? Yeah, the shoulder looks fine. She could easily just bring the monitor to the right and she'd be able to face the monitor straight on without turning her head. So move monitor to the right.
What's wrong with this image? This is almost perfect. Now the only thing I would fix with this sonographer is his upper back is hunched over. And he's kind of looking down at the monitor. Everything else looks fine. It looks like he's scanning in the neutral position. If he would just bring the monitor up. So bring that up or lower the chair. What about this one? Bring the monitor closer to the sonographer because it looks like he's stretched out too much. Look how easily he can grasp these buttons here with ease. And he's all the way stretched out and he probably could barely even get these buttons here. <laughs> this is my favorite. What's wrong with this image other than she's performing an endocavity or transvaginal exam with a trans abdominal transducer? <laughs> Besides all that, what are other things that are wrong? Well, for starters, she's scanning with her left hand when she should be scanning with her right hand. She should turn her whole body so that she's facing the machine. Her body is positioned almost 90 degrees away from the monitor, which is forcing her to turn her head to the left, which could kink the neck. And she's kind of leaned over a little bit. So she needs to scan with her right hand, stand straight up, face her whole body towards the monitor and machine. And then this one, she needs to stand up straight and face the machine. She needs to bring that body part that she's scanning closer to her, either by flipping the patient, bringing the head over here and the feet over here, or she needs to bring the machine on this side and scan left-handed. Which of these scanning positions is the most correct? It looks like image D is the most correct because she is scanning in a true natural position. Which of these is considered the neutral position? C is okay, but for the sake of your boards, they're gonna want a better answer. This is okay. This is best for your boards. This is the closest to the neutral position you need to be in for your boards. Which one of these images represents the correct way to hold the transducer? And the correct answer would be B. What about this one? I would say this is the most correct. 